Okay, so hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a teen volunteer for the Pima County Public Library. And today um, you're our guest, Tara. So could you introduce yourself real quick? Of course. Yeah, my name is Tara McBurry. Uh, I'm using she and her pronouns and uh, I'm from Afghanistan originally and I'm living in Tucson, United States. And I'm a senior in Carolina High School, a Carolina Magnet. So you're working on an art project right now, right? Yeah, I'm working uh, with Tabby Transportation Art with the Youth uh, project. It's basically a project that we are designing and painting the planters for La Dose, the 12 Avenue. Um, yeah, we are eighth youth. I'm the youth assistant. We have the youth coordinator and the teacher artist. So could you tell me about what you're doing for the intersection and like what stage you're in right now for planning? Uh, our program? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I'm actually the, uh, my position is the youth assistant. I'm actually the bridge between the youth artist uh, and the youth coordinator and the teacher artist. Um, I'm making sure that like every youth are on task and they're doing um, their job and they need, don't need anything. Um, and then like solving their problems and then like um, having conversation with them mm -hmm. and yeah. with the youth coordinator and making some activities, icebreakers for them to uh, like feeling themselves like free and like um, open their minds for the creative like designs. So for you personally, are, are you an artist too? Yeah. So what inspires you to be an artist? What inspire me? Um, actually, I can say my family. Um, um, I don't have any artists in my family. It's uh, like a um, like weird thing. And um, I don't know why I started drawing when I was like uh, seven or stuff. And like, um, it's better for like, um, expressing myself through art and uh, relaxation. It's a little relaxation like um, thing that like make me feel good and happy. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Thank you. So how did you discover the, the Tabby program this summer? Yeah, uh, I'm uh, another program. Uh, it's called RYMP. Uh, the, uh, it's actually for youth that refugee youth. I'm actually a women teacher, and then I have a mentor that mm -hmm. actually helped me to reach our goals and um, for a future, good future. And my mentor says uh, I was uh, looking for a job, for a summer job to uh, some, something about art, maybe in library or something. I uh, yeah. and then I found the opportunity of the tabby, and then I applied for it and accepted for it the youth assistant position. So that leads me to my next question. How do you feel about being compensated, like paid for your artistic skill and like to help other people? Yeah, that's super good to actually, um, something that you create from your mind and then like you get paid from it. It's mm -hmm. actually uh, my first experience that I actually get paid from my art. So yeah, that's like super good and like, Cool. That's pretty hard to come by as like a youth artist. Yeah. So what are you learning from being part of the Tabby project? Could you talk about that? Yeah, of course. Um, it's a great program to actually get a lot of experience with the colors, with the new techniques. We have a teacher artist that actually helps us to new uh, learn a uh, new uh, like learn new things and new um, new techniques about arts. We, um, as far as like the programs is going right now, we learned about a lot of things about the watercolor techniques, pencil technique, and then actually we learned how to create some things. We have our own designs 
each youth has their own designs and from their like researches we did about the Lidos and the community and the culture, they have like create something like it's a very um, like powerful thing that we actually learn to create something like from our minds. So with those designs that you're working with, do you have like specific ones that you like the most, like a specific style that you like, or do you have a favorite way to create basically? Um, my specific style is, uh, I don't have like a specific style, but um, I'm doing, uh, I love to draw faces and portraits from different cultures. And um, in my art, I have actually like a, face and then like some other symbols from like monarch butterflies that actually like part of the culture and the medicine, the current the other uh, like the corn tree sisters. These are all the other symbols that uh, like in my designs besides the like faces. So I like to draw faces. Okay. So, um the art at the intersection that you're going to create, what uh, what is it going to look like? Uh, it's actually a planter that we are like drawing in it and painting in it. So okay. um, it's 12 of them and each uh, youth has their like own designs. Mm -hmm. um, so it actually represents the community and it will actually be part of the culture. So we uh, in our designs, we have a lot of like uh, 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 symbols from the community and the culture from the South Tucson and Ladose. Could you talk about some of the different cultures that are shown in the art? Of course, yeah. Uh, we uh, actually, this is my art. We uh, have a Chinese. This is my second design. We have a Chinese girl that actually like uh, in the Dosen, like uh, downtown Tucson, we have a lot of representation of uh, Chinese culture in here. So we want to like actually show this to our art Chinese girl. And this is like the tea cup that actually like traditional tea Chinese uh, culture and dragon fan. So we uh, have the symbols from like showing the other culture in Tucson and the um, a combination of cultures. That's really cool. Okay. Are they are they large planters or are they like relatively yeah, small? They're, large. they're really okay. They're gonna be wrapping around the like the planters. Oh wow. Okay. Oh, so has the Tabby project, is that just going on this summer or has it been going on before that? Do you know? I don't know. Uh, it's, I think it's the first one, you know? It's Maybe it can continue like, like next summers. Okay, so. Other groups maybe, not us. So maybe COVID didn't affect this summer this much, but could you talk about how COVID affected your like art, if it did at all? It affects me a good way because like the quarantine and the stuff, like everyone's like at home and like makes uh, arts and the stuff. Like it's um I my I improve uh, my art a lot in uh, COVID situations. And in here in Tabby, we uh, have like, in, uh, we have a classroom um, mm -hmm. and then we have a where to like painting uh, under the shadow. So uh, basically we are, have to like put our mask on in here um, and uh, inside. And then when we go outside, we can like without masks, masks and stuff. Well, that's cool. Do you have any plans for your future art or things that you plan to do? Different programs, maybe? Yeah. Um, I want to be an architect in future. Um, I want to study the architecture. So I was thinking about the University of Arizona, and um, like I'm not sure enough. Um, 
but um, yeah, I want to be an architect. So it's also because uh, you know, an architecture is also has a design process going on there, and um, you can actually doing your art and be like doing like a scientific stuff, yeah. like physics stuff with this, like math. That's cool. Could you tell me how many people are involved at the Tabby project? Is it like a few people or are there a lot that they're working with? Um, the people who are working here is only 11 people. Um, the eight youth artists, me and our yoga coordinator and your teacher artist. Is that 11? Um, yeah. 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 Okay. And then could you talk about the the community that you're creating the art in where the planters are going to be like is it is there much art there already or is this like the beginning of you're adding to the beauty of the community um yeah we uh, have a lot of guest speakers that actually tell us about the community and like helps us to the design to help us to design. So we have um, um, a lot of things like other yours has their designs ready to paint. So we are all trying to get the planters ready to paint and then like uh, put the, what is it called? Uh, is that called? Uh, primer? Uh, yeah, primer. Uh, put oh. the primer on and then like get to ready for the paints and our designs are already. Okay. And right now, are you in the art studio working on stuff, basically? Yeah, we are in a Tucson Museum period where we have a classroom, like a classroom that uh, we are working and learning stuff, we're designing. And we have uh, um, another where to, uh, the planters is there and then like painting and, Okay. And specifically you, do you get to design, like, do you get to paint the planter too? Like you go through the whole process of designing it and yeah. yeah. Okay. That sounds really cool. group work. Okay. Are there, is that the only project that Tavi is doing this summer? Yes. Yeah. Do you have does the do you know if the program has any plans for like the future what they would do? Um, I don't know. Okay. That's cool. That was that was great. Thank you for um, coming to the interview and speaking today. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you for asking. <laughs>